Bismuth is a dense, mostly non-toxic heavy metal with a number of interesting properties. The piece I'm holding right now weighs more than 500 grams. Most people who've heard of it know it because of its wonderful colorful crystals. Here are some I have made over the years. Its low melting point and high density make it great for casting. Today I will show you how to make bismuth crystals with minimal equipment. To show you you don't need a ton of material, I have decided to only use 300 grams of scraps and failed casts. I transferred the bismuth into a steel pot and melted it on a hot plate. It is important you do not use aluminium because it can contaminate your metal. This will prevent the formation of colorful oxide layer. Unlike most materials and similar to water, liquid bismuth is more dense than its solid. When all of it melted, I skimmed off the oxides, placed in a nail and turned off the heat. Once I saw the melt partially crystallized, I poured off the remaining liquid. I have waited too long and I have forgotten that bismuth expands when it crystallizes, so I flipped the nail around and tried once more. Here you can see me tapping the melting dish to check if bismuth was still liquid.
this time my timing was much better. I repeated the nail method once more and then tried dipping a quartz crystal. I was honestly surprised at how well this worked. For the final item, I have decided to make a geode. Once it cooled down, I carefully extracted it by flipping the dish upside down and giving it a light tap. Thank you for watching.